here, welcome back. Now I'm a real sucker for RGB LEDs. So when SwitchBot reached out and offered to send me a whole lot of their RGB lights, I couldn't say no. Now they have not sponsored this video and they have no control over what I'm about to say, but let's have a look what we can do with them. So the SwitchBot LED Strip Light 3 offers a five meter strip. This is matter compatible over Wi-Fi. However, you do need the matter hub in order to do this. It offers smooth dimming and scene presets with one to 100% dimming, as well as synchronization with sound and sensors. At full power, this strip will use 18 watts. It can run on anywhere from 100 to 240 volts 50 to 60 hertz, offering both RGB colors as well as cool and warm white. These sort of strips are perfect for installing behind the TV set. Whenever you install LED strips behind your TV set, I would always recommend using these LED light strip corner connectors in order to get a nice 90 degree bend at the corners. Otherwise, you can have your strips falling off. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. Inside of the box, we get the strip itself, which is neatly wrapped around one of these reels. And having a look at these strips, they have a neat little connector on the end. And then the strip itself has got this sort of rubber coating over it. On the rear side, obviously, we've got our 3M tape, which you can easily use to adhere this to the back of your TV set. You can cut these strips. As you can see, they have these markings over here, which is the perfect place to cut it. Having a close look at the strip, you can see here we've got our RGB LED and then our warm white and our cool white. Also in the box, we get our controller, which offers both power, brightness, sound, and mode switching. We then have some clips with 3M tape for mounting. We have an infrared controller and a power supply. Connection is super easy. You just plug this little barrel jack in and then we go along here and we connect our strip. It can only go one way, just follow the two point in there. And then over here, you can see you've got your infrared receiver. Setup is super easy. All you do is hold the power button in for three seconds. It will start flashing from red to green. Open up your SwitchBot app, press the plus button, add device. There we go, it's picked the strip up already. Press the button, sorry, for two seconds, not three. There we go and connect device. Always make sure that your phone is connected to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network while doing this, as it doesn't support five gigahertz. There we go, now we can start using it. Now it's asking us to do a firmware upgrade. So now we can control our brightness. We click more down the bottom here, we get access to all the different colors. We have the three basic colors. We have a slider here for colors. We also have another slider for the brightness of each color and then we can go down into more and more different color options and different gradients of color down the bottom here if we have a look at the remote control we pull out this little strip from the battery so if we press this and aim it at the little receiver there we go we can see that we can control it so we also have another version of this which has got individually addressable leds for just five dollars more i also used this neon wire rope light version which allows you to bend it into all sorts of shapes this version of the light actually has a metal strip in the back here which allows you to bend it into all sorts of shapes and create some amazing effects so these floor lamps are pretty versatile you can use them either vertically with the stand or horizontally so inside of the box we have some instructions so you can see there i've got an aluminium powder coated system with a connection bar over there so we've got four of these we have the actual led tube itself as you can see it's contained within this flexi white duct you can just remove and throw away this piece next we have the base might have a plastic surface and then there's some sort of metal inside giving it some weight the controller itself so you can see there we've got some uh, we've got a power button a brightness a microphone button i'm assuming that's for sound and then we have our different modes then we have these wall brick we've then got our power brick and we've got a small screwdriver with some screws in it so there are two screws for each one of these 
connections. Next, we're going to take the actual LED strip itself. Now, I tried, first of all, to slide this in from the one side, and it was very difficult. But the easy way to do it is just to press it in. So what we do is we start at the top side over here, pops in here quite easily. Make sure it's right firm up to the top, and then you just pop it in all the way down. Now we're going to stick this little piece in over here. So the base now just screws on. Finally, we just screw the base on. Now, as you can see, there's only one way that this will go. And then we just connect our controller in over there like that and we're all set to go so i found that using the two floor standing lights along with the led strip behind my tv gives me an absolutely fabulous viewing experience the last device i checked out was the candle warmer lamp now effectively what this is it's got an incandescent bulb in the top of the lamp which basically heats up the wax in the bottom here in your candle so instead of having a scented candle burning and obviously we're all worried about fires and things you can now have this light just heating up the wax and producing this really nice glow and this wonderful smell it's fully controlled using the SwitchBot app or sharing it via matter once again so this device is all made of metal it's got the little cover over here with the light fitting in there and then this is all metal so they provide this little halogen light bulb that you just effectively pop into the top part of the system so it sits like that and then you have the controller down here on the controller we have power brightness and we have a timer for either two four or six hours now any of these devices can be connected to home assistant using the SwitchBot cloud integration, but I prefer Matter for a local connection. So what I'm going to do is click on the little wheel. I'm going to go into Matter Setup, Next, Connect Device. We select OK, Next. Now I'm going to copy the QR code. Next, I'm going to use HomeKit, which is working as my Matter Bridge. Add a Matter device. Add accessory, more options, SwitchBot light, there it is. We paste the code in over here, continue, adding to home. We'll put this one in the kitchen, continue, continue, done. Now we can go into this device, go into settings once again, turn on the pairing mode, copy the code. And now I'm going to go into Home Assistant, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Add a Matter Device. It is already in use with Apple HomeKit. We're going to paste it in there and Add Device. So within Home Assistant, we can now see these devices inside of Matter. So there's that candle, for example. So we can turn it on and off. We can adjust the brightness of the candle um, and that's about all that you can control other than the startup behavior if we went into one of the floor lamps for example once again we've got all of our different color controls and things all from within matter overall I've had a huge amount of fun playing around with all this RGB lighting let me know what you've done with RGB lighting in your house and what type of lighting you are using. Over here, you'll see a whole lot of different 3D printed parts. Now, I will show you what I'm busy playing around with. This is a little uh, project that I found online. Sorry, dropping everything. But you'll see it's got these little light, these little eyes. And basically, they can blink and move around and all sorts of things. Super cool. Playing with servos and playing with um, microcontrollers and servers. So watch out for this in a future video. Anyway, that's all from me now. If you've had a good time, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.